Nights Under a Tin Roof, Part 1 When the fire still sends its yellow light from the bank of coals is best, before the cold pushes us under the quilts, while the frost is still invisible in the air, and we can look up to the uneven planks fifteen years from the sawmill and still not painted, and make things and faces in the wood grain and be scared and laugh. You boys settle down in there. We'd be getting up round here in a few minutes. But we wouldn't, as we didn't stop peeking the cracks at Allie Joe and Maybeth. You see Allie Joe's pants? You didn't either. Did too when she blew the lamp. Peeking those same cracks that let the wasp through, that always needed stuffing with paper. Uncle Virgil covered the kitchen cracks with wallpaper from the catalog, but mice ate the wheat paste, making tunnels like moles, and Uncle V mashed them with his fist and pulled them through, so the kitchen wall had little holes in the printed roses where a tunnel stopped. And the rest of the rolls are wrapped in newspaper under the bed, because it might work better some day with another paste. Now you boys don't pee off the porch. Do your business under the chinaberry tree. Those same cracks that let smells through the floor, like the time Aunt Callie put out the ant poison and the rats got it on their feet, then licked them and died under the house. You ain't smell stink till you smell the old wolf rat dead with the poison. And who had to rake them out with a stick? Who was little enough to squeeze under the floor scared of snakes and gagging with the smell? Take them yonder to the gully, boys. Mind that lie on your hands. Part 2 when the rain plays different notes, high near the peak and low in the middle is best. When the thunder is far off down the tip of bottom and the wind is settled to breezes and early before light we hear the back door and Uncle V's boots and the pine fire in the stove and the lid on the salt box and the pot boiling. Boys, don't put so much sugar in that coffee. But there was always the lightning when it struck the cat right out of Jimmy Lee's arms and burned out the screen door and killed the cat and only knocked Jimmy Lee down. Thank you, Lord, for that sign. And we can't go out in it, especially under the trees, or go near the stove or windows. Stay on the bed, boys, and don't touch the floor, and don't bounce. And only the girls can use the slop jar, except when it lightnings, and we always need it then. We'll use a slop jar, boys, but you'll have to take it out. When the dark comes with the afternoon clouds and we hear lightning striking the pines on Hickernut Hill and the air whispers like God shushing everybody before the thunder, we try not to jump when it comes. And Aunt Callie brings tea cakes from the kitchen, round and sugary and crumbly with burned bottoms and chewy with thick middles and cow's milk to dip them. Don't drip on the quilt, boys. And Uncle V crumbles cornbread and Blue John milk and rocks and looks out the window. It'll be dry enough to pick up potatoes, boys, if the lightning didn't scare the life out of Preacher Mule. Part 3 When a whippoorwill sets in the yard and calls another in the garden is best. And we sleep on top of the covers when the windows are propped open and balls of last year's cotton are wired on the screens with hairpins keeping out the flies. And we hear Uncle V hiking there, the walker hounds, to the bottom below the old place. Just listen at the window, boys. You'll hear the hounds good as me. And Aunt Callie washes a block of ice from the sawdust pile and puts it in a pitcher of cistern water. Don't play around at cistern, boys. We'll never see you again. That's when the snakes come out. Like the copperhead that bit Aunt Callie getting up the cows, and Uncle V tore his shirt for her heel, and we ran all the way to Cousin Verdell's, who had a dodge. Knowed something was wrong, boys, when I heard your feet slap in the ground. When the night doesn't cool down, Uncle V puts his feet in a dishpan of water, and Miss Ann fans with the big palm leaf James Edward brought from Hawaii before he got killed on the destroyer in the Solomons after Becky won the Miss USS Edward Turner contest and his dog Frisco just went off and died. Let him go, boys. He don't want you to find him. Uncle V doesn't sell the place, but he'll let me put a house on it some day with a tin roof. Best roof in the world if you nail it right, boys. Take a twister. And it keeps the place dry and turns away the summer sun and sends back the fireplace heat through the winter cracks and holds everything together through the storms.